Hey guys, the objective of this video is to use rectilinear motion concepts to solve a problem. So we're going to be looking at two problems today. Uh, we have problem one here, and we'll start off with this one. Basically, we have a problem where we've got a man dropping a ball off a cliff in this picture. Um, we've been told that if the ball is traveling at 40 meters per second, just before it hits the ground, how tall is the cliff? So we've been given acceleration is constant at 9.8 meters per second squared, which is the acceleration due to gravity. So this is our problem here. Basically what we know, uh, these are our three equations that we're going to be looking at. We'll only need to use one of them, but um, what we'll do is we'll work out what bits of information we know so we know which equation to use. So basically we know, we know 40 meters per second is the final velocity because that's just before it hits the ground. And we also know that the ball is stationary before he drops it. So that means that our initial velocity is zero. So we know our final velocity, we know our initial velocity, and we know um, our acceleration. So our acceleration. So if we look at um, the following equations, if we look at equation one, uh, we know, yes, we know the final velocity, we know the initial velocity, we know the acceleration, um, we don't know the time, and also you'll notice that what we're after in this question is displacement. So we're after a height. So that's a distance. Um, and the first equation does not have a distance in it. So we're not going to be using that one. We'll move on to having a look at the second equation now. So we know our final velocity. We know our initial velocity. Um, we also know our acceleration. And we have, we have our displacement in this equation. Um,